Uh, my name is Kevin Hempel, and I am going to give the encouraging word today from the Beacon of Hope project. Uh, we are currently not standing at the Beacon of Hope uh, building. However, we are at a location in Oskaloosa, Iowa today. Thank you so much for the uh, shares and the comments from last week when we were in California. Uh, this week we're preparing for a storm, people. Um, everybody's been watching the weather. I know that uh, there's been a lot of information about the snow that's coming this week and, and the uh, frigid cold at the end of this week. And I just want to chat a little bit about the storm that actually happened last week. Uh, however, the storm didn't occur with the weather. The storm occurred in the life of the project and it occurred and manifested out in our lives. And so how did that happen? So let's see. So we uh, went home for Christmas, went back to California for a little bit for Christmas, where we're currently from. Uh, and we spent New Year's together there. And I took the first flight from California back to Iowa. Um, it turns out that the airport systems and all the powers that be there ended up switching all the flights uh, at the beginning of the year. And so I had to fly from San Francisco to Chicago just to get 2,000 miles back to you here in Oskaloosa, Iowa. Um, normally I fly into Des Moines or Cedar Rapids, but this time I had to fly from San Francisco to Chicago. I took the first flight out of California to get here to Oskaloosa for this week and the following weeks. And the being was is that we were praying during Christmas time for a Christmas miracle. We had so many things happening last year that were stopping our project from moving forward. And so uh, when I went back home, I met with a bunch of friends and family and met with my personal family. And we decided, you know what, we're just going to pray through these challenges and these issues. And we continued to pray for a Christmas miracle. And you know what? Many of them showed up. Some of them showed up when we were uh, celebrating Christmas, but many didn't show up until we got back into Iowa, and they showed up in the form of the people and the, and the hearts of the people here in the heartland. That is very important. I want you to hear that. Don't miss that. The miracles showed up through the people in the heartland because of the people's hearts here. We had so many things happening at the end of last year. So, so many challenges, so many stopping uh, processes of the project that we're working on, projects we're working on. We had so many people uh, speaking into uh, challenges that we were having. But all we did was went into prayer because that's all we know to do. Because prayer is a powerful tool and it is also a powerful weapon. And so, years ago, I didn't know how to pray. I actually flipped a quarter when I lived in New Hampshire back in 2003, and I said, heads California, tails Florida, it ended up on California. I bought a ticket to fly out to California, I went up and down the coast, and I fell in love with a little town called Livermore, California. I promised myself that I would be back, so I went back home right after 2004. I packed my bags, I packed a truck, and I moved across country. I was driving through Texas and I prayed at 2 a.m. at a big cross that was on the side of the freeway to a God that I didn't know. And I asked him to help me. I asked him to help me find a job, find a place to live, help me figure out how, how I was going to make some money. And you know what he did? He did it. Because that's what he does. And he did the same thing this time. And so miracle after miracle after miracle happened to us last week. And they continue to happen right now. And so my encouraging word for you this morning and today is, and for the rest of the week and for the rest of the year of 2020, our word, remember last week, the word is wonder. And it already kicked into place. So this week, I want to encourage you and ask you and tell you also to go ahead and pray. And if you don't know how to pray, just take, man, I don't know what I'm doing here. I need help. I need help. I need somebody to come and help me. I don't know what else to do. I need help. Sometimes that's all I can get out. And I go to a friend and I say, hey, I don't know what else I need. I don't know what total help I need, but I just want to tell you what's going on in my life. And every time I do that, things happen. People start coming around. Things start shifting. 
Uh, it doesn't get easier immediately. However, it starts to break through. Things start to happen in our lives. Things start to change. We start to see things differently. My eyes start to open up to wonder and miracles and the glory of just being alive. And even though I'm going through the fire and the challenge and the struggle and the suffering, you guys seen us last week climbing and hiking the mountains and it was snowing up there. And then we went into the valley and the water was running down the hill from the hilltop. It was raining and snowing at the top of the mountain where the wind was. And we got to the valley and there was beautiful weather. There was beautiful environments. There was beautiful fields. There was beautiful soil. There were beautiful fruits and food in the valley through the fire. Don't miss that. I love you all. Thank you so much for your attention and awareness and uh, just the messages that we get about these wonderful, encouraging words. I appreciate it. I hope it comes through me and not from me for sure. 100%. I love you. Uh, stay encouraged. Be encouraged. Find hope. Just be that hope for someone else. And if you're struggling today, do not worry just go into prayer, and if you don't know how to pray, just go, look, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Because I'm telling you, every single time in my life when I have struggled, it has always worked out. So don't worry about that. Be kind, be nice, be willing, be loving. I love you. Take ground. This is Kevin Apple from the Beacon of Hope Project, and we love you so much. We will talk to you later.